Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm honored to meet you with this beautiful day. In this presentation, we will present about work faster and easier with collaboration. Let me introduce myself. I'm also my friends. My name is Oman Hakim, and my friends are Raihan Ali Bunggro, Stu Cahyanti, Nabila Kamilia, and Sifah Khairunisa. In this video, we are going to share about what is work collaboration, why work collaboratively is important, uh, how to work collaboratively, and uh, the key uh, of work collaboration and the effective of work collaboration. So without any further ado, let's move with the first one. What is work collaboration? The best way to define collaboration would be the outline in a process of two or more people or organization working together to complete tasks, a task or a save of a goal. It also defined as two or more people working together to get or to achieve their goal. Alright, after know what collaboration is, now let's find out why collaboration work is important. Actually, there are lots of reasons, but in this video, I would like to share the three main reasons why collaboration work is important to make your work faster and effective. The first one is collaboration helps to solve problems. Imagine you are doing a project, then halfway you face a problem that makes the progress stop, and the deadline draws near, but you run out of ideas. So, what are you gonna do? Give up. No, of course not. You have to ask for help or find other perspective. You can collaborate with your colleagues to find solution to solve the problem that you face. Because when a group of people pulls their knowledge, skills, and expertise, then talk problems out and debate potential solution, the project that were stalled will begin to move forward again. Now let's move to the second reason, that is collaboration makes people learn from each other. One of the best thing about working collaboratively with people with different skills and backgrounds is learning from their experiences. Collaborating with your college could be a beneficial learning experience. You can ask for feedback and opinion, share knowledge, and get better understanding of how they work, even know their way of thinking, which can be very valuable for your progress. And the third reason why collaboration is important that collaboration makes you be an efficient worker. Maybe working independently has its own advantages and maybe it can make you completely focus on the project without any distraction by involving other people. However, for several type of project, collaboration will be more efficient because when projects are complex and demanding, you can deny that you need someone else's help. And it's where the collaboration work. It helps us to share heavy workloads and find creative solutions, also saving time. Alright, so there is three three main collaboration work is important to make you work faster and effective. It is very interesting, right? Therefore, there is no more reason for us to be lazy to work collaboratively. Now, there's a question how to work faster with collaborations. And here, I'd like to explain you several tips on how to work faster with collaborations. And let's begin with the first one. This one is define your purpose. When you're leading a project, it's essential you start by setting measurable goals and clear objectives and everyone who understands the vision and purpose behind a project. The second one is communicate your intention. When you're working with others, always be sure to start your intention before you begin tackling assignment or tasks and let your teammates know what you're doing and set realistic expectations regarding your timeline. And if something unexpected happens and you won't be able to deliver a result as expected, so we just communicate these changes too. The third one is listen and learn to compromise. It's essential you listen closely to each team's member ideas, feedback, advice, and be considerate and respectful when responding. While you may have your own ideas about the direction of a project and how teams should be performs each test, and it's critical you take your oncologist's opinion into account. Often, the best way to approach differing perspectives is to reach compromise. The fourth one is overcome challenges and solve problems without assigning blames. In collaborations, problems may arise and people make mistakes, and it's normal and it's essential to call me to analyze issues as a group without blaming any member. And to enhance collaboration, it's important you're willing to forgive mistakes when others make one and take responsibility when you make one. 
The five is be open-minded. To be a successful collaborator, you must remain to open mind new ideas. Often, your fears will come to different conclusions than you or develop a different approaches to project. And it's critical you acknowledge others' contribution, consider their ideas without judgment. The last one is celebrate the collaboration and success it brings. Take time to recognize the result and celebrate. Positive outcomes as a group is essential to effective collaboration, and you can set up performance rewards or bonuses for collaborative effort to show employee teamwork is just as important as individual achievement. What are the keys to successful collaboration? Alright, here are the 9 keys that need to be present to drive effective collaboration. The first one is share understanding of the issue or perspectives. Taking the time to understand the issue and perspective of all involved is critical. This involves understanding not just the what, but the why. The second one is willingness or commitment to participate. Where a collaboration opportunity exists and is recognized, collaborative effort will be optimized where there is a commitment or willingness to participate. The third one is clear and shared goals. Goals that are shared by all collaboration partners need to be agreed and understood upfront that articulate the outcome seeking to be achieved. And then, mutual benefits. There needs to be benefits for all the parties in the collaboration efforts. It is important for all parties to understand and believe in the mutual benefits that will flow from their collaboration. After that, trusting relationships. Effective collaboration is more likely in situation where there is pre-existing trust, respect, and openness in relationships. And then, right skills, knowledge, behaviors, and support structures. The effectiveness of the collaborative effort will be somewhat dependent on having people in full that have the necessary skills, knowledge, and behaviors that are required for the tax and hand to use them. And then, appropriate government arrangements. Clear and agreed protocols ideally exist around such things as roles and responsibilities, decision-making process, scope, progress reviews, and evaluation. After that, senior leadership commitment and support. This may be especially important when there may not be true reciprocity in the situation providing mutual benefits to all parties. And the last one is, there is a situation or opportunity that will benefit from a collaborative effort. The choice depends largely on whether individual achievements can deliver the group's performance aspiration or whether collective works products and activities skills are needed. X is effective collaboration. Most people can work well independently, but collaboration is more challenging. Good communication and knowing how the role fits into the big picture go a long way. Uh, and first is get everyone on the same page. Don't be afraid to over communicate, especially with a remote team. You don't want to make a mistake of assuming something and is apparently delaying your project. Number two is to meet or not to meet, that is the question. There are so many meetings on the unnecessary, especially meetings uh, to prepare for other meetings, like a daily check-in meeting and regular face-to-face -face video call. You have to set the tone and make everyone feel included. And I don't think that is uh, so necessary. And if you want to make effective collaboration, you have to uh, demolish all of that. Number three is take advantage of channels. You can focus channels on specific topics to keep your team up to date with the latest files, conversations, and decisions. The cool thing about channel is that you can have as many as you want. All the information for each topic is centralized and readily accessible versus being buried deep in a sea of different email threads. Number four is be a team player but set some ground rules. Do yourself a favor and stay flexible but anticipate that there will be some conflicts. Uh, change is never easy and teams always comprise various people with different habits, attitudes, and motivations. And the last one is, give your team members autonomy. Trust your colleagues to do work, to do good work. Your company hires them because they had the right skills and fit for the job. Once your team members are all on the same page and know who's responsible for what, let them do their job. And provide a good support structure. Even the best self-starters need advice or sounding boards at some point. You want your team members to know who to reach out to with questions and when to bring up new ideas for discussion. Alright, that's all from us. Thank you for your nice attention. Hopefully you can get the benefit for our presentation. The
Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.